With the release of Sea of Thieves Season 11 comes new way to make reputation and an increase to Distinction 5. Because of that, I'm making a series where I'm talking about every single emissary and how you can maximize your time, levels, and efficiency on each of them. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Athena's Fortune, which is very different to the other ones, but I've got a good method, which I'm guaranteeing will help you in some way. Also, if you do want help with any other emissary faction, check my channel as I do have a video up there talking about how you can do so as well as that if you want to see more guides and informational videos on sea of thieves and games as a whole make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on let's get into it so the athena's emissary one of the most sought after emissaries in the game and probably the most different aside from reapers due to the fact we don't actually have the final end game voyage unlock with the release of the level cap. And I'd also argue it's the hardest to get the new Burning Blade Raid Voyage for this faction, so we have to think outside of the box and go from there. Although one of the pros to Athena is if you see a Fort of Fortune or a Fort of the Damned in a server you're in, I'd recommend doing them as they are great helps to the Athena faction, not only for selling the loot you get, but also for completing them and the different bits of loot you get while doing a Fort of the Damned. Also, you can raise a stable point saying that you can do Hourglass for Guardians and raise your Athena Emissaries, an effective way to make levels this is entirely true but not valuable or viable for the average player so we're not going to talk about that in this video it is worth keeping it in mind though so assuming you're not doing that method the first thing you want to do is raise your sovereign or athena flag from there go ahead and vote down the guardian fortress voyage now this is personal preference that i start with that because you'll get a few things from doing this fortress voyage that i think are really valuable one it's really quick you can do it in under five minutes if you are on solo or if you have more it's about the same just sit by the door use fire you can run through it really quickly two you'll get a confirmed piece of new loot in this fort completion and of course other existing athena loot too and finally you get a ton of supplies which are going to set you up perfectly for a session of doing Athena voyages. It's worth mentioning you should also have a storage crate, but you can do it by hand if you do really want to. At the end of the fortress, you should have the island or fort done, all the loot on your boat, and all the supplies. And since you have dived for the voyage, it does put you on a fresh server, and that's the server you're going to be staying on. After completing that voyage, you really can't go wrong with doing the Legend of the Veil. Vale. They are the most effective way to make Athena level, bar none. So, sail to a Legend of the Veil, vale, and it will always be really close to you, depending on what region your fortress dive was, will depend on what region you're going to stay in for majority, if not all of the Veil. Vale. Now, there's many guides on the internet of how you can complete Veils. I made one as well on my channel. If you do need them, make sure you check out the channel. It's all there. If not, you know what to do. Complete the two steps to get the first two Veil Stones, then head to the final location, where you'll do a little bit of a naval raid. The surrounding three forts will be five shots roughly to destroy, while the main island in the middle is about three shots per section. Of course, that does change depending on crew. But either way, from the completion of the Legend of the Veil, vale, you will confirm yourself an Athena's Chest, a level five. Athena Emissary and a couple more pieces of Athena loot that you can use and sell. Of course, completing the steps leading up to the final raid of the Legend of the Veil, vale, you'll also be able to get a few pieces of Athena loot, so make sure you don't leave them behind either. So from here, you're level five. What do you do next? Straight up, you're going to sell. That's important. Make sure you confirm your loot, because as you know, loot isn't really yours until you sell it. Whether you sell to the Sovereigns or you sell to the Athena, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure all that loot is sold. From there, don't reset your flag get your emissary mission. That will always be close by to where you're selling, no matter the situation. Complete the emissary quest, go back and sell, and then from there, you can either choose to jump off or repeat this process. Personally, I like to complete the process yet again from the beginning, so that includes doing the fortress dive, to completing the veil, to doing the emissary quest, and then rinse and repeating. Of course, you have to lower your emissary and re-get it up to five to make this viable, but you will definitely get grade five by doing a Legend of the Veil. Vale. It's always 100% confirmed. The only other thing I'd mention that's worth looking out for while doing this is the Emergent Fort of Fortune World events or a Fort of the Dam. Stopping to do them can be very, very effective and will yield you a lot of good level. Depending on when you do that, though, obviously depends on when that does spawn. But if you do load into a fresh server with a Fort of Fortune up, I'd make that your number one priority. If you complete the Fort of Fortune, then I totally recommend not doing the dive step and instead just going directly into the Legend of the Veil vale and kicking off from there. Now, although this method is the most effective way that I found out how to level up aside from doing Hourglass, it is a very slow process because Athena is genuinely one of the harder factions to level up. But doing this method will utilize the best way you can make levels in the shortest time 
time possible. And with that being said, that's pretty much the video. Again, if you do want help with any other emissary, make sure you check the channel because I do have videos that I've posted. And if not, let me know down in the comments what you prefer to do if this method isn't quite for you. Also, if you are inclined, feel free to check me out on Twitch as I do do regular streams over there on all things Sea of Thieves and other games too. With that being said, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.